All right, welcome to another monthly favorites. And uh, so this month I don't have that many favorites because I went to a wedding, got COVID, and I was out for like two weeks. So I'm just starting to feel better. And um, yeah, a few things here, but not that many. So I'm just gonna get right into it. I'm looking at my phone as well. Let's start with a couple announcements. So the first thing I wanna talk about is a pretty big deal for me because, um, so this boot right here, this is a Ghani boot. Um, so I got a pair of their boots like a few years ago and they were just a little bit too small so I never really wore them but I really loved them. I loved them so much that I actually got it tattooed on the back of my arm and um, anyway so I started making these like boot match strikers a while ago and then somehow they found me I think on TikTok or something like that so they reached out and they asked if I could make their signature boot which is the Texas boot in ceramic so I did and I had a meeting with them and everything too and I was just like like no joke I have it tattooed on my arm and they're like oh yeah so it's meant to be so anyway um, yeah it took a really long time to do because I've never really painted um, on on uh, underglaze before I've never really added color I'm not really into adding color on things so it was just kind of a lot of um, trial and error and yeah, it took a lot of time because I'm not a great painter. This should be coming out pretty soon. I just sent the last batch in to them the other day, so it should be coming out pretty soon, and it's meant for their store opening in Texas, so um, I'll leave more information about that in the down bar when I find out. Something that I made that I'm super proud of is this right here. This is a little Donabe pot. I've always wanted to make one, and I think they're so cool but I've never made something with a lid. So I decided to try and make it on a much smaller scale because usually these things are like massive. They're maybe like this big and they're meant for families to eat from. And um, yeah, I just wanted to make one, test it out and see if I can make something with a lid. So the lid doesn't fit that snug. So I still need to work on that. I need to figure out how to throw in one solid form because this is in two separate pieces so when it dries it dries at a different speed or a different um, rate so sometimes the lids just don't fit perfectly I just need to figure out how people do it so well and get it to fit perfectly so um, there's this woman at the studio who said that sh she would suggest throwing it in one solid form so just all the way around and then cutting into it and then yeah Anyway, this isn't made with flameware, so I can't really use it as a donabe pot, but I will get flameware clay and eventually make them, I think starting from the size and then working my way up. I really like the size though because it's just so cute and it's really, I don't know, it's adorable for like a miniature um, personal donabe pot. Also on the subject of ceramics, um, I've been, whenever people at the studio kind of go around and like, oh yeah, I like this, we want to trade. The whole thing is that a lot of the ceramicists will trade work. Anyway, there was this guy at the studio who makes these beautiful zebra mugs and he posted it on his Instagram and his Instagram is called Little Snake and um, I don't know, they're just like so well done. So there's raw clay and then he paints on glaze. I'm not even quite sure how he does it and I don't want to reveal any secrets if there are any secrets either but you can see that it's shiny where it's glazed and then matte where it's there's no glaze so you can get a nice grip on it but the detail is insane anyway so then I saw it on his Instagram and um, I reached out to him and I was like hey can you can I buy one from you the next time you make one he was like oh no no I'll just trade it for something and he he asked for a boot so then we traded for that and oh man I just I can't stop staring at it because I think it's so perfect it just seems like it's a lot of work going into this and yeah I'll leave his Instagram in the description so if you want to reach out to him to get like a custom piece or something like that you can I know these take a lot of time to make so yeah, just be patient. <laughs> Before we move any further, I just want to put in a quick word for my sponsor for this video, which is Ana Luisa. So Mother's Day is right around the corner. I think it's like a week away. They're having a sale and it's buy one, get one 40% off. So you can get one for your mother or your friends or yourself. Um, yeah, just take advantage of the sale while you can. I have a few pieces here that I ordered from them. And um, yeah, just thought I'd share those with you. So this one right here, 
I've had for a while now, but I ordered a backup because I wear it so much. I actually like wearing this with t-shirts because it's such a kind of like a casual piece. It's kind of nice and sturdy and underneath t-shirts it kind of elevates the look in my opinion. So I really like it so I bought a backup for myself um, just in case and this is called the Ina and it's $75. Again, buy one get one 40% off. This is the one that I got for my mom. It's called the Yusuf and it's just a classic chain like this. And there's a little plate right here that says BU on it, um, but very, very minimal and kind of straightforward. There's no pendant or anything, and I just thought it'd be a nice like layering piece. Again, this is called the Yusuf and it's $59. And then I have this one right here, which is the Leo. I think this one I might also give to my mom too. It's another layering piece. It's also $59 and it's a little bit thinner than the Yusuf, as you can see. It'd be really nice to layer with but it's essentially the same design. And then I went to um, my cousin's wedding earlier this month. That's where I got COVID. And um, it was funny because she gave everyone some jewelry. And as soon as I opened up the box, I, I got this little envelope, right? And I'm like, oh my gosh, I know exactly what it is because I, I love Anna Luisa. All their jewelry comes in like these cute little bags for travel. And the cool thing is that there's like a separate compartment so that you can put one earring on one side and another earring on the other side so they don't scratch each other, which is nice. But yeah, she got me these hoops and I actually got these for Maddie a while ago. These are called the Cuidado and they're $75. It's a nice sturdy earring. I really like it. So Ana Luisa is a jewelry company. They make high quality jewelry for affordable prices. I think everything starts at around like $39 and it goes up from there. They're carbon neutral, so everything from the packaging to the way the, the products are made, even the way that they ship. Like this is 100% recycled paper and there's no extra fluff or anything, just like this little bag and then just like that, you know, very simple design. Again, if you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description. It's buy one, get one 40% off for this Mother's Day sale. When it comes to music, so I make a playlist every month for Worldwide FM and this past month, um, I've been really into like psychedelic music. So I, um, I put a couple in the last playlist and usually I like to switch around. So if I do one psychedelic song, then I'll do like another, I don't know, kraut rock or like jazz or something like that. I, I like to kind of jump genres, but this last playlist was a lot of um, psychedelics. So if you're into that, I'll leave a link to the in the description to the playlist and then let me know your thoughts on that. Probably one of my favorite playlists so far, but I know it's not like everyone's cup of tea, so yeah. There's a YouTuber named Beth who does like a, a style channel. She has a style, um, vintage styling situation. <laughs> kind of hard to explain, but uh, she featured this woman on her channel and the woman's a milliner and um, she designs all these beautiful hats. And this is called, um, the brand is called De La Fuente. And I saw this hat and I just like fell in love with it because it reminds me of, well, you kind of tie it like this or like just a little bow tie down here. Um, I know it looks kind of funny, but um, I really like it because it reminds me of, you know, the Vietnamese straw hats that people wear in the fields and stuff. It reminds me of that, but like a little bit more um, dressy in a way. So yeah, I really like it. And I love the little ribbon thing. And I noticed that a bunch of her other hats um, you can buy extra ribbon for it and so I actually found a ribbon that's like very similar I just had it in the laundry room for a while and then my boyfriend actually took that ribbon and started applying it to pieces that he was making like using the sewing machine that I bought like at the beginning of the year so he made me this apron and it's modeled after my favorite apron that I already have from Carhartt um, but there are certain things that I just I didn't like about the Carhartt apron. It had like way too many pockets so if I brought my things and I put it in the pockets and I, it kind of gets lost because there's like I think 10 or 15 pockets on there, you know, an unnecessary amount. So Jason made me this apron and it has I think just like two big pockets. Oftentimes whenever I, um, whenever I go out to the ceramics place or whatever, I'll put a drink, like a LaCroix or something like that, in a pocket. And so he made sure to make one that kind of folds over and has extra space for my drink. So yeah, I really like that. And he also used the ribbon that I really like too. And the great thing about this design is that it kind of goes to the back instead of around your neck. 
So um, yeah, it just kind of distributes the weight evenly and it's not uncomfortable. So Minori is a makeup brand that I just discovered and it's a clean, uh, cruelty-free vegan brand. I think I got like three things from them, but this is the cream blush and the highlighter and the highlighter is in the color champagne. And I really like this texture because um, it just distributes the perfect amount of product. It's saturated, but it's not too um, vivid. So you can easily blend it out. And yeah, it just looks so natural and blends in super easily. So you can just like tap, 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 and then blend it out, you know? And then the blush, this is the color Scarlet. And I really like this color because, I mean, Scarlet sounds like it would be like a red, but it's more of like a peachy, mauve -y color. I like using this with a brush because I've tried using this with my fingers and it comes out kind of patchy. So once you use a brush, it kind of distributes the product very evenly. And um, yeah, such a beautiful color, great pigmentation, and it stays on all day too, which is fantastic. And it looks very natural too. And I feel like, I mean, cream blushes always kind of look natural, but this one really blends in with my skin. So it looks like it's coming from within. So yeah, really into this brand right now. Um, I love the packaging, so cute. Yeah, very clean design. And they gave me a code, it's Christine15 for 15% 15 off your first order if you guys want to use it. On to the last few things. So I have this notebook right here that I've been using. And this is what I use for um, just like, I guess, creative stuff. So ceramics, video ideas, um, cooking stuff. I just put all the ideas in this book and I love the paperweight of this. So I've been using, gosh, like moleskin notebooks for a while now and I'm just so used to that paper. But this weight right here, it makes, uh, I mean, in my opinion, it makes everything that I write in any type of pen, it could be a ballpoint pen, it could be like a le pen pen, um, it makes everything look so nice. So like, I feel like my penmanship's never looked this nice before um yeah really into it it's from mirror water which is estee lalonde's brand um yeah check out her stuff i have a few of her bath goods that i still need to go through and try out i just have so much stuff to like try out all the time so um yeah i'm really excited about using it but i started using this right away because i needed a notebook for my ceramics and like ideas and stuff so yeah really like this it looks kind of trash right now because i bring it everywhere with me obviously and the pen that i've been using with it is this one right here from muji oh man i i love these pens and i'm so bummed that muji's not in la anymore so it's kind of hard to get a hold of so the next time i come to a muji i have to buy a ton of these pens they kind of remind me of gel pens from when i was in elementary school the texture is really nice and it writes very evenly and yeah, Muji kills it with her pens. Claire Savitz talked about this being possibly her favorite tool in the kitchen. And so I immediately bought one. I bought one for my boyfriend too. I eat a lot of toast, right? And um, it's not that big of a deal, but whenever I apply butter or whatever on toast, it's just not very fluid. And then I realized that this offset spatula is perfect for that because I mean, obviously it just kind of like spreads out everything evenly. So I eat toast like every morning. So this is the tool that I always grab. I actually also use this to like fry eggs sometimes because it gets underneath small things pretty easily. So yeah, this is such a fantastic tool and I can't believe I, I've had it for a while now and I didn't start using it until like recently. So yeah, offset spatula. It'll change the game. It's got a nice like little bendy to it too. So it goes around things easily and it flips, gets into detailed spots pretty easily. So yeah. Last thing I want to talk about. Um, so I have a lot of windows and I have a hard time committing to blinds. Like I've lived here for like two years now or almost two years. And um, I haven't found blinds that I really like. So I've just had these like temporary blinds up for a while now, like way longer than they're meant to be up. And um, anyway, my boyfriend's sister, Lisa, told me about these tension rods and they're kind of like shower curtain rods, but they're a lot more sturdy and they're beautiful. So I bought a ton of them. Well, not a ton, I bought like three of them. And um, 
it's great because it kind of just it's a tension rod right so it just kind of hangs on inside the window and then um, you don't have to punch any holes anywhere or like mess up your walls or anything and you can it's very like non-committal in a way and if you're like me where I move pretty often I move like every few years a couple years every single time you move you commit to a different set of windows right but with this I feel like you can just yank them like just pull them and you don't have to worry about leaving behind any markings or anything like that and then you can just put them in any window they're from a brand called Umbra and you can use them as like a shower curtain rod you can use them as like a curtain rod for um, dividing rooms and stuff and you can also use it as like window treatments if you're in the market for window treatments and you're like me you don't like like to commit to certain window treatments and you don't really have an idea of what you want i feel like this is a very low stakes situation that you can use over and over and over again those are my favorites for the month of what month are we in april yeah for the month of april um very short list i hope you guys enjoyed this video again thank you anna luisa for sponsoring this video and uh i'll see you in the next one bye